Hi there. Let's review how to simplify problems that involve negative exponents with a few examples. Let's start off with something nice and small like 2 to the exponent negative 3. Let me ask you a question. What would this simplify to if there was no negative, if it was just 2 to the exponent 3? Well, right, 8. 2 to the exponent 3 is 8. So how does this negative symbol make it different? Really what the negative symbol means is flip your answer. Just flip it. So I would do something like this. Instead of just writing a 2, I'm going to write a 1 over 2. And I have an exponent 3. That exponent now becomes positive when I flip it. So you see what I mean by flipping it? The 2 was on the top, and now it's below a 1. It's on the bottom. And the negative goes away. It becomes a positive exponent. And now I can just simplify this part. 2 to the 3, like we discussed, is 8. The only difference is I have a 1 on top, and my answer is at the bottom. All right, let's move on to another example that involves a fraction. And we'll see what I mean just by flipping. We have 3 over 4 all to the exponent negative 2. So how do I use this rule for a fraction? Well, this negative in the exponent tells me to flip my answer. So if I had 3 over 4, I'm going to flip that, and I'll have 4 over 3. And by flipping it, we get rid of the negative symbol. So now I have a 2, just a positive 2. And I can simplify that further. 4 squared divided by 3 squared. That exponent goes into both the top and bottom numbers. And we have 16 over 9. Let's try another example that uses variables this time. x to the exponent negative 3 multiplied by y to the exponent 4. Well, I've got an x to the exponent negative 3, so I can flip my x. However, my y has a positive 4 exponent, so it's going to have to stay the same. So if it was on top, it'll stay on top. I'll keep the y to the 4 above, but the x is going to go sort of down into the basement. It goes below, and it removes the negative of the exponent, and now it's a positive 3 exponent. So y over 4 stayed where it was, but I just brought the x down below because it had a negative exponent and change it to a positive 3. Three examples of using the exponent rule for negative exponents. And now let's get you to try one of these practice problems on your own. I'll give you a problem that looks like this, and you can try it on paper. 4 to the exponent negative 2 multiplied by x to the exponent 3. So try that one, and I'll show you the solution when you're ready. So hopefully you got a final answer of x to the 3 divided by 16. And we got that by just dropping the 4 to the negative 2 down below and changing it to a positive 2. And then 4 squared is just 16.